Next, I'm going to do what is called a clipping mask. Now, a clipping mask is a way for me to hide or reveal different parts of an image without altering the original image um, permanently. In this case, I'm going to clip half of Daisy Ridley's face, Ray's face, so that it stays revealed and the other side is hidden. I know that's a little bit convoluted right now, but uh, it makes sense, I think, once I go through it. So I'm going to click on, again, my rectangular marquee tool. And this time I'm going to select the side that I want to have revealed. So I don't want text on this side. I want the face to stay whole. With the clipping mask, when an area is filled with black, it disappears. And when it is filled with white, it stays and reveals. It doesn't touch it. In this case, I'm going to just, so I've got it selected. I have my marching ants. I'm in layer zero. And at the bottom of my layers palette here, you'll see a square with a circle in it. And if I hover, you get the add layer mask um, info box. So if I click on this, you'll notice things don't really change on the image again, but in my layers palette, it does. So if you see here, I've got, um, here's my layer one, my basic image. One half is black, which means that if I turn off layer one, so you can't see it, you'll see that in my image, half of that picture is hidden. And the, what you're seeing is the color fill below. So we'll turn layer one back on again. And you'll see the mask on the side, they're linked together with the chain. So you have the black will cut away and the white will keep it revealed. So your layers palette should look like this. Layer one, half of the face where your text is gonna go um, mine's layer zero, you'll see the full image and a mask on the side, and then a color fill layer at the bottom. 